Experience Africa's heartbeat. The African Pulse. A weekly broadcast that takes you across Africa. Different topics. Culture. Tech. Health. Economy. And even politics. The African Pulse. Only on Africa FM. Greetings to you, ladies and gentlemen across the continent, and welcome to a new episode of the African Pulse. A weekly broadcast which brings you different topics to discuss with my fellow columnist colleagues, as for today we're going to explore the powerful influence of social media on the youth in Africa. In an era dominated by hashtags and viral trends, how is this digital landscape shaping the minds and behaviors of our young generation? From Instagram to TikTok, Facebook to Twitter, social media platforms are not just virtual hangouts anymore. They've become catalysts for social change, influencers of culture and avenues for both empowerment and exploitation. But the question we ask here is, are African youth equipped to navigate this digital terrain responsibly? And what are the long-term implications for their identity relationships and aspirations? Today, we delve into these questions and more with my colleagues whom I have the pleasure to have here with me in the studio. Rudel Gbadoi from Togo, Rose Mukaya from Kenya, and David Mozo from Ghana. So, starting with the first segment of this broadcast, navigating the digital identity. Um, the first question I'm going to ask is, how do African youth perceive their digital identities and how does this impact their offline lives? So, do they feel pressure to conform the, to online trends or do they use social media as a platform for self-expression and activism? What do you think about this, Rose? Um, thank you, Imen. So um, I feel like we are having this problem, problem, sorry, mm -hmm. this problem right now. Mm -hmm. And earlier I was talking about um, with Rudel. Mm -hmm. We were talking about uh, how people there's this thing they call fear of missing out, mm -hmm. like new trends. Even when you walk outside, people there's like new trends of clothes every time. New trends on TikTok. New trends of music every mm -hmm. time. So sometimes when someone doesn't know, when you're telling someone, ah, you are supp you, there's this new trend we are supposed to be doing, and they're like, no, I don't know. You know, they will be looking at you weirdly, like, weirdly. Mm -hmm. how do you don't know? <laughs> how do you not mm -hmm. know about that thing? So I feel like more, uh, more youth, African youth mm -hmm. are conforming into the fear of not, of not being... On the way. On the way, yeah. Like catching up, it's... It's too bad. It's, yeah. yeah. What about your dad? What do you think about this? Mm, I'm going to talk about something else. Mm -hmm. Actually, hello. Hello. Yeah. I'm going to talk about something else. You are asking about how does this online you know, stuff like uh, impacting the on, uh, offline life? Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. There is that thing about you know, not having contact with humans in real life anymore. Mm -hmm. Back days, I remember my dad and, like, I mean, old the people family used to talk friends, about, you yes. know, when I met your mother, mm -hmm. she was in that corner and I used to pass there every time mm -hmm. to, meet, to meet her mm -hmm. and you used to, like, have specific time to meet, you know, those things and those particular way of, like, trying to meet people in real life. Mm -hmm. they, this like new technology of internet, social media, we we're talking about Instagram, TikTok, is taking us from all, all those things. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
from nowadays you can meet someone outside and you prefer talking with talking with her like online mm -hmm. and this actually like how do i say it? it's it makes you like like the interactive like having mm -hmm. interactive mm -hmm. interactive interaction, interaction mm -hmm. with people online than ha like then the real trying time. to meet them in real life mm -hmm. and this is bad it's a bad impact actually yes. mm -hmm. that's what i think about you know this is indeed true what about you david i think the thing about social media it um, i can say it's a two-edged sword mm -hmm. Bend it on the good side and on the bad side. And on the good side, it's uh, an avenue for activism, mm -hmm. promoting our culture and all that. And on the other hand, I would um, agree with what my colleague said earlier about we've lost the human interactions. Mm -hmm. Let's say this physical touch mm -hmm. where we can discuss one to another. Mm -hmm. Majority of times we'll be on the road in the buses, everybody's stuck on his phone. Mm -hmm. prefers talking to the person mm -hmm. online than the person sit close, sitting closer to him or her. Mm -hmm. So it's um, a problem coming out. Uh, I think it's much more of a hijacking thing. Mm -hmm. You see, I think it's much more of a hijacking thing than as mere as we can see it. Yeah, so I think these are the two places I'll touch on. Thank you. Thank to, you, David. I, I mean, to add to what he, he was saying... Mm -hmm. You know, you are talking about social media, but you can see nowadays people, I mean, you have even preferring reading books online than reading books, like, in real life. Yeah, and understand. I can never understand that. Like, you know, reading books is filling the, the papers, filling the, you know, the atmosphere, filling the view, mm -hmm. and this, you know, particular... Vantage. Exactly. Yeah. We are losing it. Yeah. I understand. Um, however, there is the issue of the um, virtual identity that I was talking about is that people try to create their own digital identity, their own digital uh, persona that, that might not be related to who they actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me talk about that for mm -hmm. a minute. Um, I feel like you, even when we watch movies, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes... Um, like I was watching this movie and it was saying the girl was like perceiving herself uh, to be this um, nature girl. She loves the nature. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. like calm and stuff. But in school, she's very different. Mm -hmm. Like she's th those people who don't respect human life. She wouldn't, you know. Exactly. Like people are so fake. Exactly. This is the danger. Media. This is the danger side yeah. of the social media. People try to create some identities who they might not be. Yeah. And uh, for that, uh, I'm going to ask what role do the influencers and celebrities play in shaping these digital personas because they affect them a lot when it comes to uh, the digital identities. So I feel like uh, we have to to say the two sides of the coin here. Because mm -hmm. we have like social medias who are wanting to change the old perspectives, mm -hmm. and there are like social media people, mm -hmm. influencers, who are like now making things very bad. Yeah, true. Because um, as um, okay for me, we had an incident in Kenya where we there were like uh, a lot of girls were being killed, mm -hmm. and there was this musician. He was like, I'm not going to say his name. He was like. Uh, those women who are being killed are women who like work like sexually outside. Mm -hmm. Instead of say, instead of educating his fellow men to be like, you know, you should respect women like this and like that. He mm -hmm. was using his social media to badly, promote to uh, promote. Like he was like, no, women need to stay home. They need to wear long dresses. Men should not be looking at women, women. even if they are wearing mm -hmm. like that short stuff. So. Mm -hmm. So um, these um, influencers mm -hmm. play, like, imagine a 10-year-old kid mm -hmm. who was watching that. And maybe his sister wears, like, those mm -hmm. small skirts. He's going to be like, you're not supposed to be wearing those stuff because, you know, mm -hmm. he said this, so you should be, like, you know. Yeah, they, they affect the society in different manners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it depends with... The, yeah, it depends with how um, people take the... Okay. No, let me add something. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays you can express yourself by social media. And that's, that's the thing the influencers, 
they the celebrities are doing now mm-hmm. if you want or you, know, you don't want that's what they are doing because i've been hearing you've been hearing about like celebrities or social media i mean the the influencer which are not like a good impact of the society but mm-hmm. well, let me just talk about the the good part mm-hmm. like they they are self-expressing they are self they show their creativity mm-hmm. things we don't used to do before you can be as creative you want and no one's notice you. Mm-hmm. They, they build community. And this is, like, I'm saying it like that, but you can't imagine the impact of building a, a community. Let's, talk, let's take the example of people like doing a campaign for their election. Yeah. The, way they, like, the way they spend money mm-hmm. just for, for the community, just to have community aside them. And those people, those particular people who are not even spending money and they are on their phone and they are creative and they are having communities. Do you, like, do you guys see how, cre- like, how important those people are for the society? Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, would, I, say, I say once I will be talking about the good side, the good mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. of evil. Mm-hmm. Like you said, there are some... There are some influencers or celebrities mm. who are not actually not good person. Yeah. yeah, like they gain their communities. Okay, because they they've been like like singing mm. or I don't know they are artists and stuff, but they are not good person and that can influence people. That can influence youth, especially youth, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. are yeah. like watching them on social media and stuff. Yeah, what do you think about uh, the effect of influencers, David? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, I say it um, in this decade, there is much more of a negative impact mm-hmm. compared to proportionally to the that of the good side of social media, especially when it comes to the influencers. Mm-hmm. Because um, for a marketing strategy, mm-hmm. majority of these influencers are themselves living fake lives mm-hmm. to a very large extent. Yeah. Yes. They, they give this stereotype li- image. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they, they have to build mm-hmm. a brand. They have to build an image for mm-hmm. themselves, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. for them to be bought outside. So to a very large extent, these influencers are themselves living fake lives. So they portray this kind of image to the public to emulate. But mm-hmm. it's like you jump in on a ladder from zero to ten. It's impossible. You have to go through the the scale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get it. So I see it that um, there's much more of a negative influence. Mm-hmm. on the social media when it comes to the the impact of the um, celebrities especially yeah. mm-hmm. celebrities uh, the the i think they are doing much more um bad job when it comes to this um, impact social media, yeah. yeah i mean i do not agree completely you know don't you guys think we all are building fake image in the real society offline Okay, I don't really I think, think so, to be honest. Because I mean, no, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. that might have been. Uh, well, that could be the case for uh, so many youth. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing: now there is there is a little advantage. There is just a little advantage that now the youth can use, mm-hmm. uh, and that is they can build their own knowledge. Mm-hmm. Building knowledge makes you immune to influence, mm-hmm. because you choose who's going to affect you. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to faking identities, uh, only only those people with weak personas would do that, because they have something they don't want people to see. They they don't want people to judge them of that thing they they think they lack or they believe they lack. I mean, I don't know. I I have been having this this like this conversation with friends before. Mm-hmm. I think we all have fake personalities, and no. I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. Like, let me explain. Okay. We all have fake personalities because okay. we all tend to be something, to be something in the society. Mm-hmm. So to start, mm-hmm. you f- you you fake it first, as we say, fake it Till until you make, you, it. you make it. But that's a good fake it. That's a know? good fake yeah, it. But that's not a good yeah. even what to get what? Okay, you guys are talking about faking personalities, like maybe spending more than they they can they can afford. On social media, maybe I don't know. Yeah, no, this, the only this, bad this, 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 this is defi- definitely negative. What you're mm-hmm. talking no, about um, is. No, uh, I would want to come in mm-hmm. on that. I think mm-hmm. what um, you are coming on with mm-hmm. is different from what Imen said. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. see, 
when you are trying to build your own personal life mm -hmm. and you are publishing that on social media, that's not you're faking the life. Mm -hmm. But if you are emulating someone's life on social media, especially from the the quarters of the celebrities, mm -hmm. majority of these lives they are they have producers, they have um, let's say great financiers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it comes to their marketing their product, mm -hmm. it comes with these tweaks. You see, it comes to these tweaks. And for your product to sell more, mm -hmm. you have to show you are living in a bend, you, you, you have this mansion, you have this Bentley, you have this, you, have, you see. But when you are trying to build your own personal this life... This is what we call the showbiz industry. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so yeah. it's much more of a showcasing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A showcasing stuff. Okay. I get you. Yes. And uh, I understand you. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what I'm just trying to say, it's, it's, it's just what you used to do in the real life always before social social media that you are like expressing or like you are reflecting on social medias now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i remember yes. i remember mm -hmm. you used to like do things we don't really do or we don't really think we used to like maybe say that you have rich parents knowing that you don't have rich parents mm -hmm. you used to spend more in the group of people knowing that you don't have like, that much money you know yeah. We, we all have this fake side of us, even in the real life. And I think us thinking they are doing something which is uh, evil, like you say, yeah. is a true, how do I say a, is a... No, but let me correct you. Because when, you, when you're faking it personally, mm -hmm. you're not influencing anyone. Because influencers are like, mm -hmm. are like leaders in the social media mm -hmm. and they have the role to like wh whatever i do if i decide today i'm going to eat rice with fork there's a kid who is going to be doing the same exactly you understand you, understand? Well, you, for you forget that even in the real life when you are doing it for yourself as you said you are influencing someone just beside you no it's never the case no you know the what? impact is not that high actually yeah. that's what you mean i get yeah, you it's not that high uh, uh, okay, okay okay i think i get what you both mm -hmm. are trying to say mm -hmm. The, the influencers do affect a large number of exactly. people, but you're talking about the circle, yeah, the, mm -hmm. close, okay. the people close by. Mm -hmm. This could happen, this could be the case if that person has value in, in their own circle. If that person has a, a big value in their own circle, of course they're going to affect the people who whom are close okay. to that person. And now we will turn to the second segment of this broadcast after this little music break. <laughs> Back to you again, dear listeners, and now with our second segment, the digital literacy and empowerment. Uh, my first question in this segment is, how are African youth leveraging social media for education, entrepreneurship, and civic engagement? So, um, starting with you, Rodel. Okay, thank you. Mm, as, like, mm -hmm. around me, I see a lot of people, like, mm -hmm. starting to, like, build community about, mm -hmm. like, studying, I mean, teaching mm -hmm. medicine, because I'm in medicine, you mm -hmm. know, it's my field. And, and they are all African. So I, I just replied to your question, but to add to that, mm -hmm. you can remember in uh, in uh, COVID, 
in yeah. COVID mm -hmm. when there was no 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 interaction because everything was stopped because mm -hmm. due to the due to the, the pandemic, yeah, the yes. pandemic, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see in Africa. I'm, I'm gonna take the example of Togo. Mm -hmm. Okay. They they stops going to school for like a year. I mean, maybe yeah. less, but. But you can see that those teachers of primary school or I don't know high school, they started making like content mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in on TikTok, mm -hmm. and it was um, it was um, it was fostered by the government. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was I used to laugh at it because I'm like, why are you are them doing that? Mm -hmm. And they used to even like like put it on TV. Yes, for kids just continue studying from home. studying from home or online it could be used yeah. th that way during the pandemic uh it was a very creative way exactly. and uh, like you said uh, just like the togo government did that same goes for algeria they did the same thing they even oh, really? created a whole channel dedicated for that mm. and uh, also they created um digital platform actually platforms with an S for the different levels from elementary to secondary to uh, university. And uh, yes, uh, the education started becoming easier during, because of that, especially during the pandemic and exactly. no one was c able to go out. But what about you, Rose? Um, I think I have uh, encountered um, an ed educational uh, mm -hmm. app because sometimes there there is even this app where they it's like it it does your math you like take a picture it's like the way you scan codes you take a picture of your question and it does everything for you and it, it even shows you the methods yeah, of it, doing it's it. it's with AI I think yeah so you see that those are good stuff you know yeah. you you learn while you're still mm. like online. And also um, there is Duolingo those things we use now when you want to do a business. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, mm -hmm. you would go and look at YouTube videos of someone saying how I started my business from. Uh, they normally yeah. have those kind of yeah, those small budget business. Yeah, you know, those are like they are telling you it's like you're being prepared. They will tell you at first mm -hmm. you maybe things are not going to work out for like three months or something, but do this instead. You know, this is like how they train you for now to be an entrepreneur and all those stuff. True. And uh, David, I think you would have more information about especially this is your field. Mm. So what do you think or how do you think uh, the entrepreneurship and stuff, how, how, do you, how do you find social media affecting that field? Okay. Um, thank you so much for this question. I think it's um, much interesting to find. Social media of itself is not evil. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. But um, the application of it depends on how much you are trained to use. Mm -hmm. It becomes a weapon mm -hmm. or a tool for you. Mm -hmm. You get it. So um, leveraging social media, especially when it comes to business and entrepreneurship, it's a very good tool because um, Africa had a very big leap. Mm -hmm. You see, rather than going through several evolutions, we just had a leap in this um, millennia. Mm -hmm. So much of the knowledge we acquire, much of information we get are much more from these platforms mm -hmm. so um, it's much more of our uh, it's much more of our advantage mm -hmm. to just know how to use these tools for our advantage to uh, sort of work and make profit okay when it comes to let's say now people create channels especially this trend in you know, tiktok mm -hmm. people make a lot of money from tiktok compared to let's say facebook because of how widely used tiktok is yeah. mm -hmm. so Based on, let's say, a little bit of research and knowing how this application works and how to get um, a lot of um, a base, mm -hmm. um, uh, this, this word, um, a fan base, okay. how to get a fan base, you can utilize it to so much to your advantage rather than just going on social media and just reading through what people have done. So I think um, this uh, social media is for good. Yes, and, and for that, uh, there are uh, many ways to understand the social media. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all this information, guys. Well, dear listeners, that brings us to the end of today's insightful discussions as we've explored the complex interplay between social media and African youth from identity formation to digital empowerment. Trip check, new post, social media. 
social media. Remember, the digital landscape is constantly evolving, but with the awareness, education, and collaboration, we can empower our youth to navigate with confidence and purpose. <laughs> Freaky FM listeners, thank you for staying tuned throughout this episode. And I thank you, Rudel and David and Rose, for your insights today. Dear listeners, if you want to recap of this episode, don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms, Radio Freaky FM, and also through our app on Play Store, Freaky FM. Stay on our wave, stay informed. Until next time, this is Imanued tuning out.